So hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm taking a little break from being on the road and I was just thinking about something um, that me and my therapist were talking about. I just kind of want to share it with you. Sorry, I'm, I'm a fat girl right now. I got know. I'm expecting a baby. Oh, man, this Chick-fil-A, um, macaroni and cheese, yo, is everything. It hits a spot for me. I crave it all the time whatever have you i want to talk about being authentic and the reason i want to talk about being authentic is because when you are not authentic and when i say authentic when you are showing up as someone other than yourself when you're not embracing who you are what you've gone through um what you have endured what you expect from yourself what you expect out of others you do a great disservice to yourself and i have learned that the hard way as of last year um ladies love who you are right at every stage of life you may find yourself in, love who you are. Love yourself at 15, 18, 19, 21, 25, 28, 30, 32, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90. Love who you are. Embrace the day because that day is gone and you never see it again. Never allow people to shame you for what you have gone through never allow people to shame you for the human experience and the reason I want to talk about this is because I was talking to my therapist and I went through a lot last year just a lot I made some very poor choices and I've been in intense therapy just trying to get myself together because one thing I promised myself is when my baby hits this earth is that I want to be the best version of myself for her because I cannot give her what I do not have so in order for me to give her what she needs I need to heal myself so the broken parts of me don't show up and ruin her future right so a lot of things that I endured last year were from the mere fact of me not being authentic for me covering up how I feel for me lying about certain things for me not um dealing with things head on for me being dishonest about how things affected me and how I felt emotionally because I didn't want to come off as needy I didn't want to come off as um, a lot I didn't want to come off as a gold digger I didn't want to come off as um, all these negative connotations that men seem to put on women as you guys know I live in Atlanta and Atlanta is an interesting place it's an interesting place and it's an interesting place to date right I cannot tell you how much fuckery you will encounter if you do not do the work because it says that we attract who we are right and we are mirrors to each other right eventually what you're dealing with is going to show up in someone else to make you deal with that thing that you're running from and this year I had a relationship where I received a lot of love but I also received a lot of correction and I saw where I needed to improve myself and I saw where I wasn't authentic about a lot of things where I wasn't honest not only with them but with myself because the thing is you cannot be offended if something does not bother you and if something is bothering you or triggering you you need to figure out what truth or what you think or believe is a truth that's making you feel some kind of way so it's funny I was with a guy and he was like oh I loved you I would have done anything for you um, but in saying that in the same breath he would shame me about certain things and I will tell you guys I'm over 35 right and once you are a woman right and a black woman the older you get the less value men who are not real men right put on you I see a lot of men who can be dirt old but feel like they are entitled to young beautiful budding women right it's crazy to me and if you're not that thing then they want to shame you but this is the thing ladies aging happens to everyone everyone gets older every day everyone's getting older that newborn baby that you love so much in a year two three four five six years is gonna be a toddler he's gonna be a teenager he's gonna be an adult he's gonna be a young adult who's gonna be a mid adult he's gonna be middle aged right listen everybody ages so I refuse to allow any man to shame me about my age age has been a really big thing for me because it's like I don't look how old I am and I think that when men say how old are you 
it's a disqualifying question. They want to figure out a way to disqualify you, right? If they are trying to figure out if you're the person for them, per se. And I feel like whenever somebody is shaming you about something, right? And you allow them to, and you lie about it, you are condoning their shaming. You're saying that, yes, what you're saying about me is valid, and I don't want to pay them to the fact, right? Another thing that I was shamed about was my looks. They were like, oh, she's pretty now, but the older she gets, she's going to look this kind of way. First of all, how do you know? Okay, I will say this. As a black woman, we age magnificently because of what we have called melanin. And then on top of it, don't let us be fit. Like diet and exercise has a lot to do with how you appear and how you look. A lot of these uh, 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 pre-existing conditions like diabetes and being obese and overweight is due to stress and, and not eating right and having as little physical movement as we allow our allow ourselves to have like a lot of this stuff can be prevented so yes i'm older so what yes i look this way now but how do you know i'll tell you now i look way better now than i did when i was younger right it's only gonna get better baby because your girl is on this your girl is on this i was also shamed about my financial position um coronavirus hit everybody and i lost my job right as a wedding planner so I've been gigging ever since and honestly I kind of like this better but um, I was dating someone who was in a much more stable financial position and if I ever needed something I felt weird asking them because it was like I had to give them a rundown of every little piece of money they gave me so for example um, I had a car um, before I got this car and the window was broke so I had to go buy the window pane go get the motor like do all this stuff and it was like $300 I had 200 as a 400 and he gave me the up and down about why I needed $100 so I felt like anytime I needed something I was shamed for it but whenever he came to me with a need he wanted to hump he wanted to hang out he wanted I was all good with it right ladies never allow men to shame you for your financial position because I feel like some men when they make let me say this right some black men when they make over a certain amount of money feel like they're the cream of the crop like they've done this fantastical feat and the thing is i've dated all kinds of men and for white men or or non-black men make over a hundred thousand dollars is a given so i'm not going to treat you like a unicorn with something that is um done by every other race of men i'm not going to do that right do not allow a man to uh make you feel bad about your preference so I will tell you all right now, I will date a black man, a white man, a green man, any man. I, listen, I don't care if the man is good to me, right? He is financially sound and he is willing to give me what I want. I'm going to date him. I'm going to date him. I don't care. And this guy I was dating was like, oh, so you're telling me you just going to the easiest bidder. Or if I don't have the money, you're going to slide over here. You're going to slide over there. Okay. First of all, you're not going to make me feel bad, make me feel bad about your financial shortcomings. Listen, if a man is willing to protect and provide and love me and cherish me, you damn right I'm going that way. Okay, I'm going that way. Because ladies, one thing I will tell you is I don't do struggle love. I don't do it. I don't do it. If a woman is having a good time by herself, why would she have a bad time with someone else? That makes no sense. If you're coming into my life, then you're coming with the understanding that you're going to elevate me or make me better. We're going to make each other better. That we are here to mutually benefit each other in different ways. And the thing is, as a man, when you get a certain age, you better have your shit together. Like, this is something to brag about, right? So I feel like, ladies, whenever you lie, whenever you are not honest, whenever you... Um, bend or whenever you hide certain things about yourself right you're not being authentic and let me say this just to break it down now ladies I don't believe you should be telling everybody everything right I, I don't do it and I hear a lot of men who say um you know we go on a date oh they'll ask you all these questions let's say how old are you and I say grown I'm grown you sit on a date with me right I'm grown because I think a lot of times people try to take jabs at you or find dents in your armor. Um, but ladies, no, don't, don't tell these men everything, especially if you're not in a committed relationship with them. But if you decided to court each other and he is looking at you as a long-term interest where he is consistent, he is showing up, he is there for you, he's taking care of you, he's providing you, he's giving you all the love that you need, then yes, ladies, be authentic, right? I mean, just give him nuggets, just little by little to see his reaction so that you know whether or not they're trying to bait you with it. 
because one of the problems that I had was being that I look so young and I'm not as young as I look he would allow his friends to say stuff about me and then he would talk about me then he would come back and tell his friends stuff about me it was like he knew that this thing triggered me and he kept it up that's not love right that's using a shaming tactic against someone it's kind of like seeing how you can push their buttons or maintain the upper hand right or when you have healed a trauma do not allow people to keep bringing that trauma back up like i felt like having gone through divorce and raised my children and things like that you endure some things but once you have healed from those things and you have laid those things to rest and made your peace with them and buried them do not allow people to bring that trauma back up it's like trying to raise the dead don't because i used to suffer with bouts of depression like crazy and it took me a long time to get myself together. So ladies, never allow anyone to bring you back to the position that you just came from. It's all about elevation. It's not about regression. It's about progression, never regression. So ladies, be authentic. Do yourself a favor. Love who you are. Be who you are. Embrace who you are. You are unique. There is not one person on this earth who is like you. And the person who is truly for you will accept your authenticity. And that way they can't say you've changed up or you flipped the script. No. No, 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 no. You haven't. You have been authentic and they know what they are getting. It's like when I go in the store and I get a snicker, I want a snicker. I don't want to open a snicker and it's M&M's in it. No, I want a snicker. Ladies, be authentic. Listen to me. Do not allow people to shame you for what has gone on in your life, who you are, what you've currently had to deal with. Shabbos, everybody, honey. Everybody, honey. And the thing is, the same people who are trying to shame you are the same people. If you could look into their past, honey, listen, it'd be a whole different subject. So I'm going to eat my Chick-fil-A macaroni and cheese because this baby and I are starving. And you guys have a good, good day. Bye.